What is up my nerds? We are back again with some more duels for you guys. Uh, today we're going to be uh, spectating a duel between your teammates. Okay, so our first player is going for an upstart. This is probably Dark World. Then up, okay, to double upstart in the first turn. Yeah, like if you guys see like an uh, uh, upstart, it's like 90% chance that it's a Dark World deck. I don't know yet, because he just said uh, two cards. We'll see. Okay, Alexandre. Is the blue eyes deck? Going for the attack. You know. Like, I ain't scared of your back. Oh! Oh. My bad, guys. Zombies. Okay, so. Let's see if this is going to be an interesting matchup. <laughs> this is probably. Well, because I, I knew it was zombies, it's probably gonna be like Pyramid Turtle or Goblin Zombie. Either one. Or, or, or even Plague. But no, I, th I think it's Pyramid Turtle. Nope, more Mizuki. Oh. Bad, probably bad hand for our zombie player. He just basically needs uh, something to dump. Endless Decay. Or any zombie that he needs. <laughs> More setting. Okay. So this is like a much slower duel than like, two metas going at it. So we'll see what will happen. Healings. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, so this is a. Probably like a light beatdown. Yeah, it's a light beatdown. Because you'll never. You'll never see these two together unless it's like a, it's like a Gemini deck or something. So this is, this is an interesting match. So both. Yeah, so that's Pyramid Turtle. Let's see if he's gonna go for that. If he goes for that endless decay, it's gonna have five thousand attack points because it's gonna it's gonna have half of its attack is gonna be equal to half of his opponent. Okay, so he's going for more defense. He's deck thinning. That's probably what he's up to uh, after. You know, he could have just summon. He could he can just summon like endless decay and be like, oh, okay, you, know, you can't you can't get over this. But no, he's deck thinning. Okay, so uh, you guys are wondering, like, you know, why why didn't he summon like a third pyramid turtle? Well, that's that's an easy explanation. Because one of them is in his hand. See, like small details, guys, help will help you like ident like you know predict stuff. And remember, I told you guys before, if you can predict something, then you'll have an edge over it. So we added that goblin uh, zombie master. Now, let's see. So our like beat down player would probably just go for an Xyz play because you don't really want to leave the unless unless he has Gemini Spark or something then you want to leave uh, Alias if he doesn't have Gemini Spark then he'll Xyz for something so like go like yeah, kind of like play defensive ish because you know you have to uh, he realizes that uh, his opponent still has hand advantage he has five guards in his hand so he can still do a lot of things. Unless it's one of those decks where, you know, somebody didn't really think about it and just, oh, I'm just gonna add whatever cards, then that makes a huge difference in the game. <laughs> okay, so he goes, he goes for that Maestro for a defensive play. Now, if you guys are wondering, like, you know, if, if, if I'm recording this live, yes, I am recording this live. I am commentating this live, too, so don't be like, oh, he's... <laughs> He's psychic. He can read. Uh, you can see it in the future. No, I can't. It's just that as long as, as long as uh, you know your cards, you know the plays. You can predict like a few steps ahead of the game. Okay, so he's gonna go for that. Uh, probably gonna go for endless decay. Or one of the R. Okay, he's gonna go for the. Go for an Xyz play. Okay. 
Okay, let's see what he's gonna make. Um, he can't make a uh, Exiton Knight because he has more. Oh, there's a Torrential. That 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 would that, that slipped my mind. I would have. I should have known. Oh, there he responds with a royal decree. Good. So our light beatdown player would probably be like, uh oh, because normally uh, beatdown decks uh, just basing it on like the old generation and the new generation. If you're just gonna focus on like beatdown, then you're probably gonna run like trap heavy. Ish, not like super trap heavy. Just decent amount of traps. Okay, so he's gonna go for a Mizuki play, special summon, and this decay, and here we go with a 5k attacker. Uh, like, oh, then that Baylor. So this is now a useless 0-0 attack level 5. That sucks. <laughs> so, let's see what our zombie player is gonna do. Black ship, of course. Just remember guys, black ship do, does not destroy, so Mace Rock will cannot activate. Uh, I, I, I'm still not sure if that's a dude or a girl. So, but yeah, it, it can activate its effect, so it'll go through graveyard because it's not technically it's not destroying. Actually, it is not destroying. So let's see if we can find a way to get rid of a 25 beat stick. Oh, gonna go for it. Um, this is gonna hurt for him. Because and the Sake is like wide open and has zero zero. <laughs> but he still does he probably can still do some stuff. Because he still has four cards in his hand. Also guys in real life when you guys duel, always uh because again sometimes your opponent will like hide his hand under the table or something. You do have the right to know how much cards they have in their hand. So that's why, you know, uh, on top of knowing the field and the graveyard, always know how much cards your opponent uh, have in their hand. So our zombie player just took a 25 hit because <laughs> of that. Okay, we're going for an Armageddon Knight. Let's see. He's probably gonna go dump a uh, plague. Let's see if he does. Because he has another Mizuki, he could can summon in this decay. Yeah, so he goes for a plague. Uh, I wonder what low broadcast is this Oh okay. I see. Um, he's gonna go for that Doom Kaiser Dragon. Oh, not anymore. Yeah, that MST in there. <laughs> okay, yeah. So he's gonna go. Oh, there's another one. Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> like I said, he's gonna go for the Doom Kaiser play, and we'll summon. Since because of the effect of Zombie World, every monster in every graveyard, including your opponents, is now zombie type. So once Doom, uh, Doom Kaiser Dragon went summoned, um, yeah, and he he will summon probably uh, and this decay. That's the only thing that can get over him. Oh, things went for Alexander. Why? Nice. Zero, he already normal something. Okay, there you go. He's going for the end of the Oh, he's gonna go for. He's gonna attempt an OTK. Unless our player has a failure again. <laughs> no, it sucks. Okay, uh, this. Right now, it's pretty much game, I believe. No! No, it's not game. Close, though. Very close. 500 left. If you can pull off a cowboy, that would be awesome. Yeah. So let's see if our li 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 light player can turn this around. Pop that that dark hole. Come on. Yeah. All right. That was awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. This turned out to be an intense duel after all, guys. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay. 
Okay, you summons plague and a type of the machine tax. Okay. <laughs> that 100. Come on. Duality? Oh, okay. Okay, so he will not get Cyber Dragon because he can't special summon in this turn. Probably gonna play like Crusader. They're just, you know, just, just gonna start poking each other. See, this is like, you know, it's, sometimes it's really good to just, you know, sit back away from the meta and just start, you know, just play like, you know, old school like beatdown decks and just start poking each other. <laughs> For me, I personally find that like more interesting sometimes than just going, oh, someone, 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 you, do, you lose. Stuff like that. Okay, so let's see if our zombie player can poke back. See, I, li yeah, I like this. This is like a poke fest. The, the, <laughs> the best play would be if he if he has like a, a marshmallow. <laughs> that would be like rich. Come on, zombie player. What you got? It's his graveyard, actually. Um, if he has a level four, he can just go for like a Gaia Knight or whatever higher attack in this and just run, run it over. That would be the, probably the best play. Because you know, he does have Royal Decree up, so hopefully that's not another that's not a Lance or something. So our zombie player is thinking really hard right now. Come on, what you gonna do? I'm not sure if he lagged or something. Endless decay. <laughs> 50 attack! Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, this is this is how you get have fun with Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, when things get really, like, intense. He's gonna have like 21 afterwards. So we can't really go for Calvin. Uh, I'd say I'd say if he leaves those two, then he has Gemini Spark. That's my only explanation why he left. Because you know, these two they are Gemini and Gemini Spark would be. Works with them. So let's see. I think it's gonna be game regardless. Whatever the zombie player does, this is this is game. It was a, it was an excellent game. Like uh, our light our light player only has like 100 left, and he managed to like turn it around with that dark hole. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna what are you gonna bury him? Oh wow, yeah, of course. Yeah, so it's when it's special summon, not only when it's synchro summon. So yeah, even like even with the Gemini Spark, this is still Um actually no, if he Gemini Sparks uh Doom Kaiser then it's game. So let's see. Is it a Gemini Spark? Yeah Oh it's shrink! Okay, no, this is game. Uh, zomb the <laughs> zombie guy has this. Oh, is that? There's an honest. Oh, okay, that, that's game. That was uh, that was an awesome game, guys.
So uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys later. Peace.